Hi guys, welcome to my Back to Basics Pilates class. Today the class is dedicated to whoever wants to approach the Pilates method or for those who want to refresh the basics. So when you're ready to get started, stand on the mat with hips, knees and ankles in line and place the hands around the belly button. Inhale through the nose, expanding the belly and exhale through the mouth, pushing the belly button in. Inhale, blowing the belly and exhale through the mouth, pushing the belly button in. Inhale and exhale. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Inhale, expanding the belly and exhale, pushing the belly button in. Just try to imagine to zip a very tight pair of trousers and push the belly button in. Then place the hands around the rib cage. Inhale through the nose, expanding the lungs. And exhale through the mouth. Inhale, filling the lungs and exhale, emptying the ribcage. Inhale, trying to separate the hands from one another and exhale, emptying the lungs. The Pilates way of breathing is a lateral and posterior way of breathing. So try to focus on expanding the ribcage to the sides and to the back, and never to the front. After releasing the arms along the body, place one hand on the opposite side of the ribcage. While inhaling, elongate the spine before bending to the side and then while exhaling, come back to the center. Inhale, bending to the side. Exhale, coming back. Inhale, elongating the back. Exhale, pushing the belly button in. Inhale and exhale. This exercise is also perfect to learn the breathing coordination of the Pilates method, which is a lateral and back breathing. Then we will go to the other side to repeat the exercise. While inhaling, elongate the spine before bending to the side and then while exhaling, come back to the center. Inhale, bending to the side. Exhale, coming back. Remember that the hips are still and stable. So the lateral flexion is occurring only in the upper body. Well done, guys! After releasing the position, merge the hands and place the thumbs on the chest and the indexes under the chin. After bending the knees to be more stable, inhale, making a torsion, and exhale, coming back to the center. Switch sides each time. Inhale during the torsion, Exhale, coming back to the center. Inhale, exhale. Inhale during the torsion, exhale, coming back. Remember that the torsion is only happening in the torso and that head, shoulders and torso are moving together. Ah, 
After stretching the knees, open the arms to the side. Lift one leg up in a 90 degrees angle and start to make little circles going towards the inside. Keep breathing naturally and keep elongating the back. The hips are in line with one another. Then change the direction of the circles. So try now to go towards the outside. Then place the foot on the floor and repeat the exercise with the other leg. So lift the other leg up in a 90 degrees angle and start to make little circles going towards the inside. Keep elongating the back and the hips are in line with one another. Then change the direction of the circles, so try now to go towards the outside. After placing the foot back on the floor, while exhaling, bend the knees while curving the back and closing the arms, and while inhaling, come back to the initial position. I will show it from the side, exhale curving the back, inhale coming back to the initial position, exhale here, inhale here, exhale curving the back like if you were hugging a big balloon and inhale coming back to the center, exhale pushing the belly button in, inhale opening the arms. Three times more. Two. And one last time. Well done. After releasing the position, walk to the top of your mat. And after placing the hands on the quadriceps, Inhale, bending the knees, sliding down the hands towards them. And exhale, rolling up, starting from the scoop of the belly button. So again, while inhaling, slide down the hands towards the knees. And while exhaling, roll up. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, sliding down the hands towards the knees and exhale, rolling up vertebra by vertebra. The head is the last one to come up. This exercise is called dynamic chair because it feels like if we want to sit on a chair. Now inhale, elongating the spine and exhale, rolling down, starting from the head, neck, shoulders. We're going to try to reach for the floor and then walk with your hands on the mat and sit on your heels. After extending the arms with the fingertips touching the floor, Exhale, curving the dorsal part of the back. And inhale, coming up. Exhale, sliding forward with the hands. And inhale, coming back up. Exhale, curving only the upper part of the back and inhale, coming back. 
It is like if you would like to make a crunch but sitting on your heels. So nothing is moving in the lower back, only the upper part of the spine is stretching forward. And spine stretch forward is exactly the name of the exercise that we're practicing. Well done, guys! Now bring yourself in the center of the mat, extending one leg to the side and opening the arms. Inhale, elongating the spine before bending to the side. And exhale, coming back to the center, engaging the core. Inhale, stretching the side of the back. Exhale, coming up. Inhale here. Exhale here. Inhale. Exhale. The hips are not moving during the exercise. Then collect the extended leg, slide your bottom to the side and lie on your elbow. Exhale, lifting the bottom, extending the arm and the leg and inhale, landing on the floor. Exhale, going up, inhale, going down. Exhale here, inhale, landing on the floor. Exhale, going up, inhale, going down. Try each time to control the landing on the floor. Then slide on the floor. And grab with one hand the rib cage. Exhale, lifting the rib cage up far from the floor. And inhale, melting it again on the floor. Exhale, lifting the rib cage up. Inhale, melting it on the floor. Exhale, going up. Inhale, going down. Exhale. Inhale. Then lift the ribcage far from the floor and hold it there during the upcoming exercise. Exhale, extending the leg parallel to the floor and inhale, bending the knee. Exhale, extending the leg. Inhale, bending the knee. Exhale here. Inhale here. Exhale, elongating the leg. Inhale, collecting the leg. Very good, guys. One last time. After collecting the knee, push onto the hand to come up. We will have to repeat everything on the other side now. Extend one leg to the side and open the arms. Inhale, elongating the spine before bending to the side. And exhale, coming back to the center, engaging the core. Inhale, stretching the side of the back. Exhale, coming up. Inhale here, exhale here. 
inhale, exhale. Remember that the hips are not moving. Then collect the extended leg, slide your bottom to the side and lie on your elbow. Exhale, lifting the bottom, extending the arm and the leg and inhale, landing on the floor. Exhale, going up. Inhale, going down. Exhale, inhale. Try each time to control your landing on the floor. One last time. And then slide on the floor and grab with one hand the rib cage. Exhale, lifting the rib cage up far from the floor and inhale, melting it back on the floor. Exhale, lifting the rib cage, inhale, melting it on the floor. Exhale, inhale. Then lift the ribcage far from the floor and hold it there during the upcoming exercise. Exhale, extending the leg parallel to the floor. Inhale, bending the knee. Exhale, extending the leg. Inhale, bending the knee. Exhale, inhale. Remember that the ribcage is still far from the mat. After collecting the knee, slide gently on the belly. The tailbone is down and the belly button is in. Extend the left arm to the front and place a fist under the forehead. Exhale, elongating and then lifting the left arm and the right leg and inhale going back on the floor. Exhale, going up, inhale, going down. Exhale, elongating and then lifting the leg and the arm, inhale, going down. Exhale, inhale. Remember to elongate the arm and the leg before lifting them up and don't forget to push the belly button in and the tailbone down. Then switch arms, extend the right one to the front and place the left fist under the forehead. Exhale, elongating and then lifting the right arm and the left leg and inhale going down. Exhale going up, inhale going down. Exhale, inhale. Remember to elongate the arm and the leg before lifting them up. And don't forget to push the belly button in. Then push the floor away with your hands and shift your weight to the back. To stretch in the baby position for a moment. After bringing the hands close to your knees, 
Roll up slowly while exhaling. Then slide your bottom to the side, bring your legs to the front and walk to the top of your mat. After grabbing the knees from the back with the hands, exhale while curving the back, pushing the belly button in. And inhale while elongating the spine towards the ceiling. Exhale, curving the back. Inhale, elongating the spine. Exhale, pushing the belly button in. Inhale, elongating the back. Exhale, looking at your belly button. Inhale, elongating the spine. Pay attention also to have always a little bit of space between your chin and the chest. For example, you could try to imagine that you have a tennis ball under your chin. This exercise is called C-curve because with our body we want to create the shape of the letter C. Now while exhaling we will pass through the C-curve but we will keep rolling down till the shoulder blades. Inhaling hold the position, exhaling roll up walking with the hands behind the legs and inhale elongating the spine. Exhale passing through the C-curve. Inhale, holding the position. Exhale, rolling up. Inhale, elongating the back. Exhaling, we will pass through the C-curve. Keep rolling down until the shoulder blades. Inhaling, hold the position. Exhaling, roll up, walking with the hands behind the legs. And inhale, elongating the spine. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale again, exhale, rolling down until the shoulder blades, inhale, holding the position, exhale, rolling up, grabbing the back of the legs and inhale, elongating the back. Very good guys, keep doing the exercise, focusing on the breath. Then we will simply roll down completely on the mat, bringing the feet a bit closer to the body. While exhaling, push the belly button in and melt the lower back on the floor. Then while inhaling, come back to the initial position. While exhaling, push the belly button in while inhaling, come back to the initial position. Exhale, going in the imprint position. Inhale, going in the neutral position. It could help to think that you have a sponge full of water under the lower back. And while exhaling, you want to squeeze the sponge, melting the lower back on the floor. After a couple of repetitions, while exhaling, still push the belly button in, but this time lift the bottom up just a couple of centimeters. And while inhaling, come back to the neutral position. While exhaling, push the belly button in, lift the bottom up till the elastic of your trousers. And while inhaling, roll down. Again, exhale, lift your bottom up just a couple of centimeters and inhale, go back to the neutral position. After a couple of repetitions, roll up while exhaling in a bridge while inhaling, hold the position. 
while exhaling roll down vertebrae by vertebrae and while inhaling go back to the neutral position exhale rolling up in a bridge inhale holding the bridge exhale rolling down vertebrae by vertebrae and while inhaling go back to the neutral position After lifting one leg up in a 90 degrees angle called tabletop position, exhale tapping the floor and then inhale going back up. Exhale tapping the floor with the foot, inhale going up. Exhale going down, inhale coming back up. Exhale, inhale. While we are tapping the floor, we will try to keep the back in the neutral position. So try to have a bit of space between the lower back and your mat. Then place the leg on the floor and lift the other one up to repeat the exercise. Exhale, tapping the floor with the foot and inhale going back up. Exhale going down, inhale going up. Remember that the back is still in the neutral position. After placing the foot on the floor, open the arms to the side. And gently place the knees on the floor while twisting the upper body and the head in the opposite direction. Then change side and twist again the upper body. After coming back to the center with the legs, grab the back of the knee with the hands Inhale, lifting the head and the shoulders up. Exhale, pushing the knee against the hands to roll up. And inhale, elongating the back. And then we are done for today. Well done, guys! Thank you for training with me. If you like my video, please subscribe on my channel.